Well, you, you can't you can't do it like that. What? You're gonna you have to shift gears before you get to the place where you can't, because you have to have enough like speed to actually turn the wheel to shift gears. If you try to do it when you're when you're slow like that, you'll you'll kick the. Uh, well, that depends on what you want to do. We can go down the tent or we can go down this way. I would go this way as far as the shortness of it, but. I was gonna follow you. Okay. You're supposed to be in whatever gear is comfortable. So for like going up a uh, up a hill, you probably want to be in a, a lower gear. When you're going down a hill, you want to be in a high gear. know what this person's doing it looks like they're turning left so they'll just wait for us I guess it doesn't look they have like they have on a turn signal so the roads kind of shitty but I was just going over here because I mean, there's no reason for you to just follow me, but like you just gotta watch the the pavement because it's shitty. And so what I usually do is I go through this tunnel up here, okay. but we don't have to do that. Um, huh? And then I go down Fourth Ave, not Fourth Street, Fourth Ave to catch the trail uh, but uh, there are many ways to catch the trail so okay. so watch the it's kind of narrow here um, just like you're gonna pop your tire if you hit that side, that's all. And they always keep this half closed for some reason, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but... So... Do one of two things. Like, if it were just me, I might go on the sidewalk yeah. there, yeah. but... Huh? Yeah. Well, and you're not super familiar with your bike, so if we were like gonna like hop off, then you don't necessarily know like how fast to do that, and then we go here. And then we're, and then we'll be on the, well again, we could cut up to up there and go on first, or we could just do use the bike lane here. Doesn't really matter. This is shorter, that way's less traffic, so. There's, a, there's not really a lot of traffic at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it looks like your seat might be a little low, but maybe not. Uh, I guess you're getting full extension. I can't see the numbers of what gears that I'm in. Well, you've got you've got a left and a right though. I know. Okay, so are you're on two on both? Yeah. <laughs> Right. Six sounds a little high to me, but I guess that's about where I'm at, but
I didn't see it, but. Alright, it looks like they're stopping, they're stopping. Well, we're gonna get on the path over here, so it's kind of like an awkward little place. So I don't like to come from all the way over there. So you can see that they have separate walking and biking trails, but yeah. people don't seem to give a shit, so it's rather annoying. Do people walk on here? Yeah. Or run. It's like over there is for the walking and running. Yeah. It's like all the time. People just don't care. But there's some places where the trails come together. So it's, it could be, huh? Yeah, well, it's an old piece of shit. So that's the way it is. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about riding it all the way up to SoundCloud, but I think that I might do it for that ride. See how I do that day, and then like make a decision about a better bike after that. Like, what is it do I real that I really want? Like, do I want a front rack for a long ride? I mean, I've got you know those bags are pretty big. But and it's not like I'm like gonna be like out in Wyoming or you know hundreds of miles from anything. Yeah. This is like the trail that I'm on the most. This is part of the Mississippi River Trail that goes all the way to the Gulf and all the way to the headwaters. But some places it's actually on the road. Well, they should be on the other side, but I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. I'm not sure what, uh, if it's the front wheel or the back wheel that's making the noise. But I guess I've just gotten used to it. <laughs> Haterade. All right, interesting. 
that license plate on that Honda was Haterade. It seems like the type of license plates you would have if you had like a Porsche or a BMW or a Mercedes, not if you have like a Honda. <laughs> like people are gonna hate you, I guess. Oh. I don't. I don't really know what the yeah, context yeah. for there that is. <laughs> you well, could, you could, there, no. yeah. yeah. You're only supposed to go 10 miles an hour, but you're only supposed to go 10 miles an hour on all this stuff, which is stupid. Well, I guess sometimes it's hard to tell what people are doing, so yeah. I usually don't do the like herky jerky stop and go, I just sort of like if they don't look like they're going, I'm going yeah. in like those sorts of situations. Cause like, yeah, it's not ideal. But but it's uh, what's the word? Vintage. It's intentionally like this, you know, because this is the Mill City Museum and part of like it's historic stuff. Yeah. So they fix it up sometimes when it gets too gross. See. Yeah, see that's part of the thing that's stupid about it. Uh, but uh, s people do have like bike computers and stuff. Yeah, you surely shouldn't need to be standing up quite yet. That's a sign you're in the wrong gear. <laughs> This place up here is kind of silly. It's like big enough for like one cyclist, <laughs> but they have like it divided into three parts just like this. <laughs> Maybe two, but. Cause there's a rail. See, look at look at how like narrow the bike lanes are. <laughs> you can't hardly fit a bike in one of those. I mean, unless unless you have in in uh, like the handlebars that circle in, I don't know that it's possible. Or maybe just maybe if you're perfectly centered, you can. And here we are. Oh yeah, this is what she was talking about. What? Who was talking about? Uh, Mike Paul's wife. You could get your like cookies or something that's well, in the thing. I didn't want to get like a sorbet, it's a little light, a oh. sorbet or something. Well, I mean, you could get like a pint of sorbet or something.
can you can you go in that side or?